everybody, this is Big T Davis, and this is the latest issue of Retail Therapy. So, I'm pretty excited about a couple things, or one big thing. Me and Bub are planning on going to Florida to check out Lake Okeechobee. So we're going to be down there for four days. <clears throat> we got a guided boat, uh, fully packed with gear, even though we're bringing a couple rods ourselves, because you know we got to bring our own stuff. But we're going to be in Lake Okeechobee. It's freezing up here in New England. Waters are being frozen over. You can't really fish comfortably. We just said, you know what? Let's take a trip to Florida where we know it's going to be warm and the bass are big. And check off one of our bucket list items. So we're going to go to Lake Okeechobee for four days and fish it to death. So you can expect at least four videos on that trip. On our Lake Okeechobee trip. The great thing about it is usually during this time of the year... We don't do any fishing, it's all retail therapy. And the last time we did a big trip was when we went to Gary Yamamoto's ranch and that was early in the fall. Like right after uh, summer ended, we went in September. So uh, we're gonna take a winter trip to Florida and fish like Ocho. I'm super excited about it. I, I can barely hold myself. It's like, I'm trying to be cool about it, you know. We, we got all our plans made, our tickets, our, our reservations. But I'm super excited about it because Lake Okeechobee is like one of the best lakes in America. You know, it's Florida strain bass, so they're huge. Lake Okeechobee, I think, has three spawns a year, two or three spawns a year. And supposedly, their spawns go from like late January, early February, can go all the way to May. Because there's so many fish, and because the fish are so comfortable, and the spawns are so close to where the fish hang out, they're in no rush to spawn. And you know the water temperatures in Florida don't fluctuate as much as they do in New England. So the spawn periods in Florida are crazy. So I think we're going to be there during the spawn, which is awesome. That means all, all the big girls are going to be out. So we're doing that. We're making trying to figure out how we're going to get, you know, we got a couple rods we're taking that are two-piece rods. And we got a rod, a rod bag. And we're gonna put them on the plane with us. And I guess they don't like you bringing reels on the plane that have line spooled in them. And I don't feel like spooling a bunch of line when I get to Florida. I want to take my reels out, put them on my rods, and go fishing. So we're just gonna pack our reels in our suitcases and some tackle, and we're gonna have a blast. So that's one. That, that's the big one. Uh, so. Some of you have know that know that I've hinted uh, BBTB Bubba Bass Tackle Box some time ago. It's something I've been in the been in the planning stages for almost a year now. Things are moving really slow, but to research what I was doing, I decided to subscribe to the Mystery Tackle Box for three months. So this is this is my third month. I've, I haven't been showing you guys these Mystery Tackle Boxes because I subscribed to this box for my own edification. And I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm a brand name guy, but if you're like me and you've been fishing for so many years, you buy different types of lures and whatever works for you, that's what you keep buying. Senkos always work. Just this past year, I got into Z-Man stuff. It works. I got into Rage Tail. I've, I've always been into grubs, so I wanted to find a grub that works for me. I now buy the uh, Rage, Striking Rage Tail grubs because it's a nice big size grub that I can use. I don't like tiny grubs. I like a bigger size grub, so I went with Rage Tail. Reaction Innovations for punching. Big O. I've been using Cotton Cordell Big O's ever since I was like 15 years old, catching bass. So, Big O's. Uh, crankbaits uh, from Rapala are also good. Also brought many fish in the boat. Micro jigs, you know. You find brands and you stick with them. Coffee tubes. Ten fish in one day off of coffee tubes. So you find these brands, you know, and you fill out all your categories. Cranking, uh, worms, jigs, and those are the brands you stick to. Now me, I like trying new things. So Mystery Tackle Box was cool because I'm going to get a lot of baits that I've never tried before. 
stuff that I probably wouldn't even grab if I if I went to Bass Pro or Cabela's or got online and went to Tackle Warehouse. I know when I go to Tackle Warehouse, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. I don't look for new random stuff anymore. I've already done that. I figured out what I like. I don't look for new random stuff. There's certain baits I don't use. I don't really like spinner baits. Not a big fan of spinner baits. I make my own spinner baits. Not a big fan of them. Okay. Uh, top water baits. Very small, limited, like whopper plopper. I got got into these new lunker hunt yappa bugs because I don't like the the legs on the frogs because the fish go after the legs and not the frog itself. So that was a good choice for me. You know, so you you figure out what you like and that's what you use. So mystery tackle box. That's just what it is. It's a mystery every month, just like Lucky Tackle Box. And I think I paid $40 for three months, which is a pretty good deal at the time. So it was like $39.95 for three months worth of, of stuff. So in your tackle box, you get this little card and it tells you what you get in. So in this one, this month, I got Carl's Amazing Baits Hunch. Valued at $6.99. They say every box is valued at $25. Right? So valued at $6.99. Carl's Amazing Base. So immediately when I first started seeing Carl's stuff, I said, oh, Mystery Tackle Box is pushing their own gear. Which I'm cool with. So here it is. This is the hutch, and it's basically a small jerk bait. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not a huge jerk bait user, but okay, there's a jerk bait in there, okay? So, $6.99 for this jerk bait. What if I fall in love with this bait and I want to buy these in bulk? Do I go to tacklewarehouse.com? No. Bass Pro? No. Cabela's? No. I have to go to mysterytacklebox.com to buy these in bulk. There's only one place I can get these. So, that kind of hurts. So, you know, if Tackle Warehouse has 20% off and I say, oh, I want to buy 10 of these, I can't get those at Tackle Warehouse. So, that's an issue for me. So, that's one. Then they have Max Lore Square Bill. Clearly, I'm a fan of Square Bill crankbaits. I have my brands that I use. Never heard of Max Lore before. Here it is. This isn't one of Carl's baits. So I'm like, okay, this is valued at $5.99, which is about right for a crankbait this size. Went on Tackle Warehouse. This does not exist on Tackle Warehouse. So even though it's valued at $5.99, where where are they getting these? Are they getting them direct from the manufacturer? More than likely. But if I want to buy this in bulk, I I got to go to Carl's or I got to find this manufacturer online and buy them in bulk if I if I end up liking this. Then they have the Catch Coast spinner bait for $5.99, which is about the right price you can get for a nice spinner bait. Here it is. Looked on Tackle Warehouse, couldn't find it. So, you, you know, you wonder why these boxes are valued at $25. Because of stuff like this. Obviously, if Carl is sending you his own baits, that are, this bait bait's valued at $6.99, is it really valued at $6.99? It's basically the cost of their bait. So, you know, their cost is really low, and they basically send it to you and, and make a small profit off of these. Because $6.99 isn't what they're paying to build these. Which is fine. So then, look what I found in this, this month, Rage Tail Twin Tail Grub. So this is another thing that upsets me about the Mystery Tackle Box. So here's the Rage Tail. This is a, looks like a, yeah, they don't have a sticker on. So you know all these baits, they come in generic bags and they put sticker on them, so you can tell what color are. So I look at it, this looks like a green pumpkin black flake, right? You only get four of them, and a typical, Rage Tail Pack gives you eight. So the cost of this is pretty much half of a full full bag of Rage Tail. So Strike King Rage Tail Twin Tail Menace Grub doesn't give you the color. $2.99. So I know this is Green Pumpkin Black Flake because I have it. Where is it? Right there. Green Pumpkin Black Flake. There it is. So I know this color. But what if I didn't know this color? There's no sticker on it to tell me the color. So if I want to go and buy these in bulk, I got to play the guessing game. Okay? That's an issue with me, these small packs that they give you. 
And then another well-known brand, brand name, Big Bite Baits. Okay, clearly this is a tiny swim bait. It's a tiny swim bait you can use in a drop shot or you can swim it or whatever, use it as a trailer. Again, it's a half pack. There's only four of them in there. No color listed. Looks like some type of a shad color. Not sure, I have no idea. I'd have to bring it to the store and, and if, they, if, if I can find a store that has Big Bite Baits and match it or go online and, and you know try my luck on TackleWarehouse.com. I have an issue with these half bags. Now, personally, instead of two half bags, I'd rather have two full bags and dump the spinner bait and the jerk bait. But that's what you get with a mystery tackle box. That's why it's called a mystery tackle box. And, you know, people love the mystery tackle box. They get it and they do a slam. They try to catch one fish with each bait. And it's all good. But, me personally, as a customer, I'm not really happy with it. I, there's no way I'm going to keep buying random baits. I'm not even going to try Lucky Tackle Box because I've seen some of their boxes and it's the same thing. It's just a bunch of random baits, a couple brand name items in there, you know. It's cool for people who are into that. And as a person who's into trying trying out different different things, it's cool. But when I'm trying out different things, I'm looking for specifics. Like, I really need a good uh, finesse jig. You know, I really need a good grub. I'm looking for spe specifics. Before I got to the Rage Tail grub, I went through like three or four different kinds of grubs. I tried Gary Yamamoto's grubs. They were too small, efficient, but too small. I needed something in a bigger size. So when I saw the Rage Tail, I'm like, yep, that's the grub I've been looking for. So with, the, with these mystery tackle boxes and lucky tackle boxes, yeah, it's a crapshoot. You know, this is my personal opinion. There's probably guys that subscribe to us that love those boxes, and that is cool. You know, it's a good thing. It's just not for me. So I'm thinking, as I'm getting these boxes and going to the websites and looking at them online, I'm like, man, I think if you are a fan of, of a YouTube page, you want to get the baits that those guys are using because you know they've caught fish on them. I don't know anybody that's caught fish on any of Carl's baits or any of those random baits I found in there. I know I caught fish on a rage tail. Okay. So my whole idea for Bubble Bass Tackle Box is for me, Bub, and Ed to reach into our tackle boxes and pack lures in there that we've used that have actually caught fish. So when you get the box, if you're into these mystery tackle box things, when you get the box, you know we have caught fish on those baits. There are three baits in this box that I have never ever seen in my life before. Okay? Now Carl said he caught millions of fish in 2018, which is a joke. But that's what I'm saying, you know? So, for instance, this uh, watermelon red flake coffee tube caught me 10 fish in one day. And if we stayed in the same spot, I probably could have went 15 to 20 fish easily. They were literally biting it on every cast. I have no idea why. There must have been a memo that went out, you know? But every time I was casting in this one area, I was getting fish every single time. It was, it was one of the most amazing days of fishing I've had. It was just rapid succession, catch after catch after catch. You know, Ed and Bub have had days where they've caught double digit numbers, but it was like over the course of a day. I'm talking within a small two hour window, I had eight fish and we left, caught one more fish, came back, and then I rounded it off and got my 10 fish with that coffee tube. So you will always find a coffee tube in my box. Now you can go out and buy, you could be watching this video and be like, oh cool, I've been trying to figure out a good tube to use. Big T says the coffee tube's dope, so let me go check those out. But I want to create a tackle box with a coffee tube, uh, a Kitech fat swim bait, uh, a TRD craw, you know, a three inch fat Senko, stuff that we have caught fish with that you can easily obtain. If you, if we send you this stuff and it actually works like it worked for us, you can say, okay, I'm going to Tackle Warehouse, I'm going to buy a bunch of this shit. And here's the kicker. And Steve, you know who you are. This is, this is your, this is your prize. You're going to get the very first Bubba Bass Tackle Box. 
but there are other things involved in creating a tackle box. Like I'm not, you're not, I don't have a business address somewhere with a warehouse full of baits. So the way we're starting this is the Bubba Bass tackle box is going to be given away free to subscribers. So I'm going to manage all that and we're going to build the boxes with the help of Ed and Bub picking their brains on stuff that they use. I already know what Bub uses and catches fish on all the time. We're going to put that stuff in the Bubba Bass tackle box. We'll probably give away five, five of those boxes to subscribers for free. If you guys like the idea, I really need you to comment on this video to help me out. But if you guys like the concept of getting baits that you know have been used that work and you're willing to pay money for it, in addition to the five boxes we give away for free, I'm thinking I'm going to set up some type of a, a Patreon or whatever where you could say, I want to try this box out, pay a small amount of money, $15, $20. And I'll give you the true value of the box and I ship it out to you. So if that's something you're interested in, talk about it in the comments. But for now, as we put this thing together and as I get logos and stuff done and get the boxes made, I'm going to be giving out those boxes free to subscribers. So I'm going to try to give out five boxes a month to start. We're going to put the boxes together and uh, send them out to, uh, you know, for prizes for people that come in, they comment in the chat and they uh, send messages or whatever, you'll get put in a drawing and you could possibly win one of these Bubba Bass Tackle Boxes. And it's not, I'm not trying to be better than Mystery Tackle Boxer or, or Lucky Tackle Box. I'm just trying to be different because personally, this is how I would want it. You know, there's been many times where I've watched people uh, on, on YouTube or watch the uh, Bass or FLW and like, okay, what did he win that tournament with? You know, and then I'll get an email and say, these are the baits so-and-so used to win the tournament. I'm like, oh, I need to try that. So, uh, that's what I do. You know, just, just to, to get better with stuff. Because we've all had those days where we got skunked. And we didn't know why. We've all had those days where we've caught a ton of fish. And we don't know why they were on that specific bait on that day. For some odd reason. Bass for Chinese food. Bub was using a brush hog. I know I got one here. Yep. Bub was using a... No. Where is it? Was he using a brush? Yeah, he was using a brush hog. Here it is. Oh, that's a horny toad. I don't even think I have brush hogs. I have a bag of brush hogs. not even on the wall yet. Bub was using brush hogs the whole time. I'm catching fish. I've never caught a fish on a brush hog, but that's something you need to put on. If you never caught something on a certain lure, put it on. And don't use anything for the entire day until you start catching fish with. That's how I started catching fish with jigs. I said, I'm going to take one rod, one reel, and one jig, and I'm going to fish all day with that and nothing else. I got three bass on jigs. I was instantly hooked on jigs. Now I got jigs of all kinds on my wall. So that's what I want Bubba Bass Tackle Box to be. Anyway, that's retail therapy. I cannot wait to start the uh, Lake Okeechobee shooting and the videos. Uh, it's it's going to be awesome. That uh, So we'll be gone for a period of time and then I'm going to start obviously editing the videos and you start to see the videos pop up on the timeline. And I think this will be the last retail therapy vid before we go to Lake Okeechobee. Not 100% sure. My mind gets going. I got ideas. Maybe I want to make another video. But until then, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.